know, back to school always means back to school night. And we've had two successful back to school nights. Tuesday with our lower school parents and Thursday with our upper school parents. It's a great chance to get to meet the teachers up close and personal, ask questions, and find out what's in store for your children during the course of the upcoming school year. I want to tell you how lucky I am to be able to work with all these great professionals. And I think you'll get a great taste of that tonight when you're in the individual classrooms. This week we've had our parent orientations for both the upper school and the lower school. And this is a great night for all the parents to come together and meet the teachers and follow a schedule and learn about the classes that their students are taking. It's really a great way for the parents and the teachers to get that initial exposure and contact with each other early on in the year so that we can make sure that all of our students have a great successful year. It was good information and, and useful and it helped me to kind of know what to expect, you know, where to go for help, the fact that the math textbooks are uploaded on the website I and mean, that was really good information. Our parents have also had the opportunity to learn about our capital project and it was unveiled on Tuesday night initially the Building Our Future campaign. Now, this campaign looks to enhance the current makeup of our campus. You know 80 percent of our existing campus was built in 1960 so it's time. We are very excited to announce the public phase of Building Our Future campaign here at St. Bernard Academy. We are up to 1.1 million dollars that we have officially raised for the capital campaign. This is very exciting. We still have quite a bit of work left to do. So our stretch goal is going to be 1.25 million. And we think uh, that we can continue to raise money for this project and keep in mind that every dollar that we do raise is a dollar that we don't have to borrow. We're going to be reaching out to you. I want to thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, I look forward to meeting some of the new families that have joined the SBA community. And there's, there's quite a few number I know. Um, so if you do have any questions and you see me tonight, feel free to stop and ask. Chuck, we're kicking it off. So the public campaign begins to... You know, our capital project includes adding seven additional classrooms, uh, a, a multi-purpose fine arts center, and administrative space. We're also redoing our student support services suite so it's a more uh, comfortable place for the students to learn. You know, our back to school night uh, invariably leads to meeting new parents. And we've got a wonderful crop of new parents this year. And we certainly owe it all to the hard work of our admissions director, Elizabeth Wilson. My name is Elizabeth Wilson and I'm the director of admissions here at St. Bernard Academy. I am um, responsible for the enrollment management, meaning from the first time a parent walks into the school to the time their child graduates. I maintain contact with them through the admissions process. My name is Lena Levandusky and I currently have a kindergarten here at SBA. His name is Henry and he's almost six years old. And we started looking for schools as early as January and we were so happy to find SBA. When I walked into his classroom, the first thing I noticed was all the natural light that came in and the beautiful, clean, open space that he would be able to move around. I noticed the teachers, I noticed the students all doing different work here and there around the classroom, and I noticed that everyone looked really happy, and my husband and I feel like this environment is a really good, nurturing, safe, healthy environment for him to be in and to learn and thrive in. And it's just going to be fun to watch him grow in SBA as SBA starts to change also. Elizabeth was really the very first, um, it, she's the first face, you know, that I put with SBA. She's the first encounter that we had and she's the best. I mean, she's just so welcoming, so nice. She was able to answer all of my questions. I have uh, Brooks, who's in the third grade, and who's in the seventh grade. Being that they're new here and not starting in you know, preschool or in kindergarten, coming in kind of as older students, um, we were concerned about you know, them leaving their old friends and starting you know, into a new school. I can't say enough about it. We've only been here for, I guess it's not even been two weeks. They just love it. I'm the luckiest person in the world to get to do what I do every day. Um, I enjoy coming to work. I enjoy my coworkers. I know 332 children by name, and they know my name, and that's a pretty special place to be. We're 
very excited for a new sports season. Volleyball will be starting next week on Monday. Both teams will be in action. The cross country team will start their meets in September. And the football teams will start the weekend after Labor Day. First meet of the season is going to be, for cross country, is going to be the first Sunday of September. Our practices are Tuesday and Thursday. We love to have all these kids out here. We've got 101 runners, and they are crazy, but we are having lots of fun. We hope everyone's going to have fun with us. Well, that just about wraps it up this week. Hope you had a great week. Hope you have a great weekend. Stay cool, and as always, Go B!